Who is God near to? Rich people or famous people? Or what kind of people? Psalm 34.18 reveals a surprising and comforting answer. Do you want to know more, more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Zhu. Let's go to the first section, Exposition. Let's read Psalm 34.18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Now, it's, it doesn't say the Lord, God is near to the uh, famous person or the rich person, or he doesn't, it doesn't say he saves uh, the people who are in the, the big cities. No, it doesn't say that. The Lord is near to whom? To the brokenhearted, and he saves the crushed in spirit. Now, this psalm was written by David, and think about it, David's situation. David was in a difficult situation and so many times, and his heart must be broken for many things, but he knew that God is near to those brokenhearted. Now, what does this brokenhearted mean? You know, it could be uh, coming out of the difficulties and all of that, but if you look at Joel chapter 2, verse 13, it says, Rend your hearts or break your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. So what does that mean? The breaking hearts here in Joel 2 is really the repentance, like a turning away from your sin and turn to God. When God reveals your sin to you, what happens? Your heart would be broken. Your heart would be gripped with fear, right? But that fear is a good fear because you will be brokenhearted before God and you will turn away from your sin and turn to God with desperate heart. And that is what the brokenhearted means. And God is definitely near to the brokenhearted. So being broken is not necessarily a bad thing because God can use that broken brokenness and God is definitely near to the brokenhearted. What a comforting verse it is. There is hope for the brokenhearted. God is near to the brokenhearted. But what does a broken heart look like? It is the realization of hopelessness in yourself. It is when you come to an end of yourself. Every bit of pride remaining in you is gone and you do not see any hope in you. Now, there is nothing to trust or depend on yourself. This can happen when you are rejected by someone in the relationship or when your work fails. Now, I went through severe brokenness right after my college graduation. I went, to, uh, I went through several job applications, but all of them failed. I was jobless, and I thought I was a pretty good person with good skills, but none of them worked for me. But God used that time in my life to show how hopeless a uh, hopeless person I was, yet how great and loving God He is. I became desperate for help and read the Bible every day. When I was reading Hebrews 10.10 10 about Jesus' perfect sacrifice for all my sins, I experienced God being near to me and His love for me. He died for me. He rose from the dead for me. He saved me. I experienced His nearness when I went through my broken heart, uh, brokenness. God can use your brokenness as well because He is near to those brokenhearted. So if you are broken, come to Jesus today. By the way, how did you experience God's nearness in your brokenness? Share your experience in the comment section below. Main idea, I mean, uh, the, remember the keywords here, near, brokenhearted. So the main idea is God is near to the brokenhearted. Read this first three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and recite this first word by word. Pause the video, please. Okay, let's fill in the blanks and check. The Lord is to the, and it saves the crushed in spirit. The answers are near, brokenhearted, and today's verses. Psalm 34, 18. All right, great job. You memorized 16 verses.
Make sure to put your unique icon or emoji on 365 Empowerment Checklist on the description section below so you can check your progress. If you think this video is helpful, please share this video with others like your coworkers, family members, and friends. And if you have not, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that YouTube will show this video to more people so that more people would hear the word of encouragement, word of hope in God. And also watch day 44 video of 70 Days Journey to the Bible so you can get the bigger picture of the Bible. Make sure to pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters of Psalm for today. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.